everybody, and welcome back to Paper Mario. Last time we made it to Toad Town, and I believe it is time to go over to the Star Summit, which obviously is the big star door. What do you have to say, Toad? I can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. Wow. I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Oh, so our brother made it out, so I guess that's good. Maybe we'll meet up with him again at some point, but onward! Jeez. Oh, he kind of did it as a doozy, didn't he? Oh, wow. Our place is really torn up. Ooh! Watch for falling objects. What does it say? Shooting star summit this way. Alright, so we're headed in the right direction. Boy! Boy! <laughs> oh, Mario, you're so short in this game. It is real pretty. I like the color and shooting stars. Oh, I see the star up there waiting for us. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trouse Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend... When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. <coughs> Excuse me. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to com communicate with you over a great distance, but even now our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Oh, please, Mario. We are You are our last hope, and we will... Uh-oh. Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. See again what's going on. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they, they are going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Oh boy. Uh, you may not be the one to help us. My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. 
We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of rescuing us up here. Reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you know, if you, you know, want anything all... Uh, yeah, that's uh, worth that's worded word. Want anything? All you need to do is ask me, princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, princess. You'd better not cause trouble. Oh, please. If only somebody could help me. Oh. Huh? Oh, how cute. What a cute little thing. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. But you're, you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Starhaven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know? Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do that? Oh, look at that little face. Uh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starhaven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy, something a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink, do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine and he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course! I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach, definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? <coughs> Mario, where are you? I'm coming, woman Jay's. Oh, impatient. Oop, got stuck on the Wee Oh, where'd it get Oh Oh sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's you're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. Oh, look how happy he is. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh yes, here it is. Here! This is it. Take it! You got the lucky star. A star-shaped pendant, pendant lets you use the action command. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Sure. Okay. Let me explain. Let me see. Hang on. You... Behind Mario, would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name's Kumbar Goombario, of course. I'll help. Well, Mario and Goombario, let's begin. First, Mario, choose the jump command and then decide which enemy you want to attack. 
Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Press A right before landing. Right now, just before stomping the enemy, press A at exactly this moment. When you see nice up here, it means you have successfully used the action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Goombario, you tried to attack Mario. Okay, here comes Mario. Right now, press A just before the attack strikes you. Alright. Yes, you successfully used the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often you'll have to use different techniques to make use of the action command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Okay. Once you choose an enemy to attack, move the control stick to the left. Okay, move the control stick. Flashes as soon as your power reaches its maximum, that's when you let go. Alright, you successfully used the action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit to make sure you've mastered how to use it properly. Alright. The action command will serve you well, so practice it. If you're done with this training session, choose the end training command. Uh, we'll try one just once here. Alright. Well done, Mario. About right there. Uh, I didn't. Sometimes it takes a lot of practice, especially for the block. The hammer's easy. All right, let's try his again. Uh, no, no. All right, well, we'll have plenty of practice. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific! You'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are! Oh boy. What? It can't be! Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll teach Kame... Koopa, she'll show. Sh uh, nah. I'll tell Cami Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. All right. Well, we will try. Uh, let's just do regular jump for now. Okay. So we got that one. Knock, knocked him off. Him, her off the broom. And um, Goombario can do it too. Oops, I messed that up. Let's do the hammer. Oops, I let go at the wrong time like an idiot. That's okay. It takes a lot of practice. Let's try the power jump, just because I said. Oh, not bad. Oh, that's the end of him. Nice. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm going to risk return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Bye, Twink! I just want to give him a hug. <laughs> oh, Popo, he came back! Oh, dear. I almost forgot to tell you the message from P Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help you both. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. There he goes. What a little cutie. There he goes. Back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario. Let's get down to business. Alright. Okay. Where to go next? I guess we can exp- Oh! Oh, Mario! Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet at him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are! It's a rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. 
Oh, he's a bit of a shut-in, huh? Alright. Well, uh, I guess this is it. Merlin is out. Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you he's out. Oh! What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe... No, yes, yes, it must be. You're Mario! I've been waiting for you. You should... You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Picky old man. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days, one of my ancients was up and shooting Star Summit as usual. But one day it happened, suddenly a grey appeared and I, standing face to face, then the far away the PS was raised me up, was amazing. I was still so young then, I believed in, but our hearts were... And then, so... He fell asleep. He's still yakking. And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey! Mario! Were you listening to me? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventures, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as is humanly possible, but according to my second sight, your path must first take you to a great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To rescue the Koopa Bros fortress, uh, to reach the Koopa Bros fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Alright. Sounds good. Which I believe is this way. Oh, some weird-looking toads in our way. You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't a go ask old man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you, don't even think about it. Okay. So they're telling me not to go talk to Merlin. I think I'm going to do it anyway, just because I can Ah, Mario, do you want me to predict the path you should take? It will cost five coins, is that... Acceptable? No. You don't want me to predict your future? Alright, whenever you lose your way, come to me. If you require something other than fortune-telling, stand beside me to talk to me. Oh, silly. Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toe Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous! Such a thing has never been heard of, never! I'll get on the- get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there, I'll see what's going on. Coming, I'm coming! Whee! Are these the strange toads you were talking about? Yeah. I told you that you can't pass. Take off! Hmm. You aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Ah! Hmm, just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. How, how would you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green. We retreat for now. Mario! Those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pr pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your future I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need to help need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a s strange port portent in Koopa Village. You might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Thanks, Merlin! Um, before we head on out, let's explore just a tiny bit. Just check out the place. Doesn't hurt to look around. 
not a heck of a whole lot. Oh, I can't even go this way. My hammer work? No? What's going on? These building materials used to be stacked by the road, but they are... They all came down when the earthquake hit. Unfortunately, it's impossible to go to the south side of town with all this scattered wood. Don't worry, we're restacking it as quickly as possible. I know it's inconvenient, but please bear with us while we get everything in order. Alright, I guess we have to go back. Oh, excuse me, I have a dry throat. Um, let's see how. It's over here. Hey, mister. You're a customer, aren't you? Dad's preparing to open the shop soon. I guess you gotta wait a little while. Alright, cool. Well, before we head out, I want to go ahead and sleep in the toad house and just get healed up. Might as well. Yes, let's take a nap. Every little bit helps. All right. And we are indeed... Okay, let's go ahead and save in case something happens. Off we go. We're looking for a blue shell turtle. Chapter 1, Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. Ah! Ah, oh, hit me. Darn it. These are Koopas. You have to knock them over in order to actually hurt them. And I believe they stay on their backs for a little bit, so you got plenty of time. I still gotta get that timing better. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get rid of you. Alright, that's the end of him. Hopefully... Mario. There we go. Very nice. Coins! Coins never hurt. Yeah, you always kind of got to be on your guard. Ah, oh, dang it. I don't got very good aim today. So, let's knock you down. Ah, that should be the end of him, actually. Cool. Star points are never bad. What little you can get always helps. Okay. Anything here? No. Nope. Ah. Okay, let's use our hammer. Good, I got rid of him. And Goombario should finish him off if I do it right. Very nice. Do, do, do. <laughs> that music does tend to get tiring, but hey. What's in here? You got the dizzy attack badge. Delivers a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to move. Eh, we'll hang on to it, I guess. Doop. A scary spirit appears and chases some enemy enemies away. Fright jar. Okay. That could come in handy, I guess. What's in here? Oh, come on. Ooh! Power block. Flips shell enemies and inflicts two damage points on all enemies. That could be very helpful. Ah. Eh. Flip this one over. One more hit ought to do for them. No? Really? Down. This ought to do it. Anything in the tree? Ooh, what does this do? I don't want to do that. Aha! I got you first. Little jerk. Mm. 
do I want to do? Well, I want to see what the sleepy sheep does. Let's try to put him to sleep, see what happens. Might as well use it. So they are asleep for three turns. So let's have Goombario take care of him. And Mario can take out the other one with his hammer. You don't have to worry about it, and we will not lose any health. I will take it. Sleepy sheep. Koopa. Ah. Little jerk. Hmm. Let's use the pow block just cuz. Got rid of those two and knocked over our turtle. Awesome. Those do come in handles. Hey, yeah. Those do come in handy, especially for turtles. in these books? No. Oh, coins. Cool. Alright. Interesting thing about this one is it plays that cute little tune and it will I think pretty much infinitely restore hearts. I don't think... Oh, there's something back here. A honey syrup. Restores 5 FP. Cool! Mm, I don't think there's too much over here. I'm gonna go ahead and look. Some coins and a hurdle. What items do I have? Huh, I wanna see what this fright jar does. Just cuz. If you just don't feel like fighting them, that's what the Fright Jar is for, just to get them out of your way. Nope. Mm, they're going to end up hurting us a little bit. That's alright. Good, good way to practice my timing. No. Okay, well, I guess I did get that one. I didn't get that one. Pretty sure I'm probably going the wrong way. Yeah, let's go ahead and go back. I don't think I can go any further. Let's see, where am I at? Well, at least I can restore my health up here. Yeah, I th think this will do it forever. It is a pleasing tune, too. I think it's been used in other Mario games. I'm not 100% sure. Which one it was, though. It sounds very familiar. Let's head down here. Okay, I can't get over there. Oh, a turtle! Or Koopa. Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village! I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in a big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are, don't you, Mario? They look like this. Ugh. Mean guys, they're really naughty. Oh. Oh. Oh, poor thing. Oh no, stupid fuzzy, get back with my shell. Aww. How about, mm. Whack. Mario, I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, alright? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. <laughs> Thanks, here. 
Aw. I don't believe it's required to help the Koopas, but... But look how happy it makes them. I feel bad for the poor thing. There's his shell. They're crying and upset. You might as well just help the poor guys. Anything here? Ooh, what's that? No, get away from me, Fezzy. Koopa Lee for stores 3 FP. Cool. Alright. Okay, he's got his shell good. Oh, there's something really going on in that house. Okay. How do I... There we go. There you go, little guy. Anything in the tree? Oh, just another fuzzy. No. Let's see what's going on in this house. Who's there? I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, he's got a blue shell. What? Wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are! My name's Cooper! Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you! Us meeting here has got gotta be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which next to my life is the most important thing I have. I can't go out without my shell, period. Way too embarrassing. The problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey, Mario. It looks like he's in a bad way. We ought, we ought to help him out. I was going to. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab, like, whoomp. Alright. Yeah, they, they make weird sounds. Wah! Nope. Too quick. Come on. Hmm. Slow down. Oh, now he's gonna go up in the tree. We know how to take care of that. Come get it if you can. Guess where I'm hiding? You need to watch it with your eyes. And it does get faster. This one. I'm gonna do it again. I think three times. Mm, this one? Alright, this should be the last time and it's gonna be really fast, so forgive me if I mess it up. this one. Ooh, I got it! Cool, I didn't even have to fight him. So that took care of that. Let's head on back to Cooper and give him back a shell. Oh! He came and found us. Mario, there you are. I realize I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. Don't even I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show these fuzzies what's what. Where you got your shell back? Oh. Oh yes, yes. This is my shell, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got my shell back. We're the greatest. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. You're welcome, dear. Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? No. Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right. Well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing could make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think... Could I... Please take me with... Take me with you, Mario. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Oh, sure. Oh, yes, I'm on my way. 
I swear I, Koopa, will follow... Cooper, sorry. Will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the earth. Cooper joins your party! Press down to make him throw himself and reach an item or switch in the direc direction. Yes, yes. And he just does that. Which is very helpful. Um, after you... Well... I don't want to fight him. Well, I guess this is a good opportunity to show off what Cooper can do. Use his power shell, and you can hit multiple enemies. Anything I got that'll help? Let's see if this will work. So they don't, because these uh, fuzzies will really drain your life. Should be soonish. We'll be good. We'll be good. Yeah, sure. All right, let's get out of here before they come back. Well, like I was saying, once you get Cooper, Goombario is kind of obsolete. Ah, I gotta get up here. We're gonna use Cooper to reach this. HP plus badge increases maximum HP by five. Um, let's see if I can put that on. Doesn't hurt, right? Badges. I only have one available. So I cannot wear any more right now. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's see. Badges. Power jump takes one. I'd rather have the close call. Hmm. Let's just leave it as it is. I was seeing how much the power jump, because we got the... The necklace Peach gave us, so we don't really need the power jump anymore. Per se. Cooper's got a cute little house, though. Alright, off we go. Well, let's check out the... Archaeologist's house. Oh, little Cooper's going on Mario's adventure. How cute. Take care. Alright, I figured maybe she'd... Okay, nothing really of interest, I thought. I thought maybe we'd find something interesting, but... Oh well. Off I go! Well... Anything else in here? Hey! We can go outside again because the fuzzies are gone. Stupendous! Spectacular! It's time to ba ba bask in the sun. A little music on the radio, a little sunshine on my shell. Does it get any better? Uh, I guess there's really no need. Nothing. Anything else interesting out here? You must listen. The Koopa Bros in the fortress worked us too hard. It was a long road, but I'm still glad I ran away. I'd reset... Rest easy. Easier if I knew those Koopa Bros had been punished. We'll take care of them soon, friends. But I want to go... Just double check everything here. Go ahead and pick up the leaf. Make sure everybody's still okay. There's a star piece up here. Oh, and I did um, figure out the star pieces are used to um, buy badges from um, a certain lady in Toad Town. Okay, well, I guess that's it for over here, so I guess it was kind of worth coming back. She's the one that sells the badge I was telling you about with the... Uh, that'll show them their HP. So I think... Okay. That's fine. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see where we are. That's not what I wanted to do.
Um, we're at full health. Let's go ahead and drink this. To get kind of full on everything. I am at full health, yes, okay. Okay, let's press on. Ah, he came out of nowhere. Just because. Whee! to take care of him. Oops. That's okay. Mess it up, that's okay. Oh. This. No, no. Ah. Uh. Now we don't have to deal with them. Out of FP though, but we'll upgrade it soon. Thunderbolt. Lightning that strikes one enemy attacks power five. Oh cool. Cooper, take care of that. Oh, we got flying Koopas now. That makes a lot of sense. Let's see. Ah. Thought I could reach you. Cooper cannot reach him, them, so... Well, you can reach him now, but that's alright. Let's knock him down. Ooh, I got that one. Let's get him on his back. And Cooper should finish this one off. Mess that up, but he's done anyway, so it's okay. Hey, nothing. Whoa, a little glitchy there. Hmm, that didn't work, huh? Wonder. Okay, I didn't think that would knock him down, but that's okay. Mario should knock him down. Oh, we're really close to leveling, so that's good. so I can have Cooper take those two out. Ooh, and if I'm not mistaken, we should level up after this fight. Well, that's nice. did awesome let's go with more flower points Julio. 
We cannot get to that pipe just yet. Here's a heart block if you need it, but we just leveled up, so we don't need it. Well, it looks like we made it to Cooper Fortress. I'm going to go ahead and save, and we will pick this up next time. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Subscribe to our channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one.